Alright, so we are nearly on our way to having a 100% completion of a jump, so I think. I'm pretty sure I've gotten all the dragon coins in every level as well. Even if you may not have seen some of the dragon coins that I went and got, that's what I'm gonna go and do now. I'll show you some of the dragon coins I picked up. I mean, since Black Hole is on the way, really, I'll just go here and show you where they are. I don't really want to bother going back to the Miscellaneous Monument again, I missed one, but then I figured out it was actually at the end of the stage. You know where the Gold Sphere is at the end of the stage? Of course it's at the end of the stage. And for Black Hole, you would just go down here to the left at the beginning of the level. But anyway, what was I going to talk about? Miscellaneous Monument. Yeah, that one. So the part where you have Yoshi, you just need to use Yoshi to take one of the springboards, use one of the springboards to get up to the Gold Sphere, and then use the Yoshi to get on top of the level above the Gold Sphere, which is where you'll find two ups, I mean two one ups, and a Dragon Coin. And I just showed you where they were all in the black hole. I personally prefer not to do Perilous Pier again, but I'm just gonna say that every Dragon Coin is in the second half, where you're sliding at a really fast speed, and all you can do is jump and spin jump. In fact, here, I was missing a Dragon Coin for the longest of times. And I figured this would be a pretty easy one, because I remember this level being, well, easy. The Spring Green Spelunking, or... If I even remembered the title of the level right. All I really had to do was just slide under the spike and then get the coin. I could have gotten that a long time ago, but apparently I... Okay, let's take our mushroom. And then there was Rapture of the Deep, which I didn't get the dragon coins. What you need to do is be started at the midway point and hold up as you go out of the pipe that you come out of from the midway entrance. And then you get this little puzzle. I was scratching my head on thinking, how the hell am I going to figure this out? But I did. You're not even going to believe it. This has to be one of the weirdest puzzles I've seen in a long time. You're not even going to believe this. So first things first, I need to get all five of these fish into this one little hole. So far I kind of screwed that up. You're not even going to believe what I'm going to do once I got all these fish in position. Like, I'm not even sure how this works at all, but it, it just does. So you get the star and the fish magically start floating up. And you need to have them all float up into this Yoshi here so he'll eat them, but I screwed that up. At least it's very easy to retry the whole puzzle. You just go in the pipe, come out, then go back in, and then it's all reset. Excuse me while I just get everything. Alright, we have them. Now like this, the Yoshi will go up to the top level. And then, from here, it's super easy. You just use him to get the P-switch, and then you go and grab all the coins, and that's it. That's all she wrote. There was also a third dragon coin in Root of Yggdrasil that I didn't get straight away. I'm gonna go and do it right now. So yeah, I'm starting at the midpoint that's closest to this dragon coin. Yeah, now I just noticed that the reason there's an identically placed skull raft up here is so you can tell where you're gonna land. So, no blind jumps. Man, I only saw this after I tried that world peace room, the first world peace room in Shattered Dreams, so... Okay, so here, you would just go left to go and try for that third dragon coin, Yoshi coin, whatever you want to call it, and then you get this little room. It's not that tough a puzzle, it's very short. So what you gotta do is get the feather, you have no choice. The flower, well you obviously can't go in here with a power up because you'll just go in a pipe and you'll be reset. So what you wanna do is push the flower upwards 
into the coins. I already screwed up. I have a nice cape, but it's not what I'm here for. So like this, and then you just keep raising the flower up one block with your cape spin until you get it onto the conveyor belt. You intentionally get hurt here so you can run through without just have going to going in the pipe. And then you will have the flower, which you will need to spin jump break these blocks to get the third coin. And one more thing. I'm actually gonna try and complete the second half of Pixel Perfect since I figured out how to actually do it. Now I'm just gonna, excuse me while I try and skip the first half. I wanna save myself from sadness if possible. Plus I already... Wow! It's like this level just doesn't want me to skip over it. Okay, at least I get to keep the Yoshi. Oh my god, it's like the level doesn't want me to break it anymore. What, was I supposed to have a cape to try and skip this? So let's just skip by that and continue trying to beat it from the second half. So I know you gotta get up onto that block. I just forgot and like died. Because of course it's this this fucking level. So scrolling R, this is not what you want to do to get the Yoshi. So you scroll the screen all the way to the left, and then you jump like this, and then you're supposed to land on Yoshi, and then you hop off it. Then, you can easily make that jump. But I screwed up on the next one immediately after. So I was doing that jump all wrong, no wonder I quit. Now that I actually know how to do the jump, we can probably beat this. So I want a blue Yoshi, but really, we're not gonna get to use them for such. So we need to get in here. And it looks like I have to do some spin jumping. Oh my. So you do that. You don't want to lose this shell because you need it. So what I think I'm supposed to do here is try and hit the lowest block. And then I'm gonna have to use that springboard for something. Get in, up! Oh! And the goalpost is right after that one obstacle. So I just need to clear that obstacle too, and then we have the level. Okay, at least this is short. You get a one up every time you s just restart the level. At least it's not like a thousand seconds long, and even then, you, you still run out of time. Back to the last obstacle. Can we do it? Come on, please give it. Don't! Oh! oh man, I had the vine too. Why'd I go up? down when, if that happens again. If I would have pressed down instead of up, would I have won the level? That's what I'd really like to know right now. Could I have won the level just by pressing a different button? Right, here we go. Now then! Fleet! Oh, come on! Oh, now I'm like... Now I'm just not fitting in, like, by one block? Oh, that was so close! Now I just can't win! Okay, well... You know what? Yes! Yes! Yeah! We did it! When I hit that top block, but no, apparently a vine aside to grow and eat away one of those blocks anyway, and then I come back and pulled it off! Clutch victory! 
So there you have it, pixel perfect. I honestly don't even care if it's short and has a midpoint. Still, precise jumps like that is, was never a good idea in the first place. That's the kind of stuff that should be reserved for Kaizo hacks. No, seriously. No one will blame you for flying over it. So now with Pixel Perfect out of the way, I can rest and no longer have to think about that, because now I have two more levels. Shell Sticker and the one after this. And now I have this one created by Cinderfire and World Peace. Oh boy. What's this one gonna be? Well, we'll find out next part. Now that I have done everything else outside of these two levels, it's time.